and then am I share my screen? And also, okay, I'm recording this now. And then um, she, uh, at the client is Bex, and she edited her posts in her page, but she pay, she posted, she made that post in her page as a page post. And then she edited the content, the ad copy uh, in that ad, but didn't delete any comments and likes and shares. So I was, I was wondering this a long time ago, and then, but I, I didn't think that we can do this because every time when we, re, when we edit any ads in Power Editor or Ads Manager, it will always create as a new one, always create as a new one. But the thing is, you don't, you, Pro, some of them, some of the you that you you may know that uh, even the the empower editor or as manager they create an, as a new one. The original one will still will still be able to find. We can still find it in the page post area. It's here. You can always go to the page post area from here. But the only thing is, you need to be the page admin so you can edit this. So from now on, I'm probably gonna need to add all of you as your client's page admin. Um, who is talking now? Okay, and then uh, the thing is now, uh, I find out a way that we can change the ad copy without deleting the common likes and shares in the existing posts. The way how we do it is we cannot edit it in Power Editor or Ads Manager. We need to go to the page posts. See, it's here, page posts. The create and manage, uh, under the create and manage uh, section, page posts, and go here and remember to select the, the one, the client's page that you wanna edit. Uh, and then this is the one that Jasmine wants to edit. And then she has a lot of ads that is currently running. And then you can see, I already edited those two. And so they're actually pending review now, probably. And this one needs to be edited. Because you can see this one has a lot of reach and a lot of engagement. So we know that this one has a lot of uh, uh, likes, comments, shares already. So if we if we edit this one in Power or Ads Manager, we'll do, it will remove everything because they always create as a new one and replace this one. But now what we can do is pay attention to this. Here is the, here is the drop down that we can choose. And if you click the drop down, you will see a magic button called Edit Posts. If, we, if you click it, it will let you edit this. And so her ads got disapproved because the time frame. And what we can do is delete the time frame. And then done editing. And see, nothing changed. Our the, the likes, comments are still there. And then it will show in the power editor or ad manager that this ad is being under review again. Okay, so as uh, so this is how we can this is so how we can uh, edit this. This is really helpful. Now, especially if you have any ads that you wanna you wanna push in, then I think we can we can also we can also change the URL. If this is the case, this gonna this gonna definitely uh, be a, a a landmark or it'd be a a, a a point that we change the whole the whole way that we do the ads from now on because if you have any ad that as long as you don't change the ad copy the 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 Facebook advertiser told me no, no the experts she told me as long as you don't change the this you don't change this uh, the 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 image or video you can change the ad copy here you can change this so this means. In the future, the ads can be like you have a lot of comments and likes and shares, and you can always change yeah ad copy only and then yeah, you can change this 
I think you can just show, see when you edit posts, when you do edit posts, the URL is still able to be edited. See that? That's why once, if as long as they're in the edit mode that you can change, that you can just, you know what I mean. You can change it. So this is, this is, do you know what this mean? Do you, do you guys really understand what this mean? Yes, yes. This is suitable for all ads, as long as they are in ads posts and all ads that we created in Power Editor and Ads Manager will be in ads posts. And so this is, this means, the button learn more. Oh uh, no, you cannot change that. So the, the learn more will always go to the website URL that you, you create. See, there's no way that you can change that. So I actually recommend, I actually recommend if you want, if you run, if you want to run an ad forever now, and then you, you want to collect all the, all everything, all the uh, likes, comments, shares in that ad and, and run that ad and to, uh, to different programs even, that you don't really need that learn more button. And all you need to do is you have a image that without the time frame, but with the keywords, and then you can always edit the ad, the, 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 the ad. You know what I mean. And then if you want to use to, to target different audiences, all you need to do is to get this post ID. Yeah, we have to change one by one. This is uh, the case. Yeah, because here, see, I don't think there's a way that we can uh, edit all together. You need to go one by one. But actually, the, the, the one with, I just clicked on too much the add. Yeah, we can add, we can adjust, yes, we can adjust click on the URL to match the add URL, the learn more button URL. So that's not the problem. Yes, we can change the Bitly. We can all, actually, we can change the Bitly inside of the ad already. So you don't, you always, you can always create a new ad Bitly. And one URL can have a lot of different buildings. So yeah, you know what I mean? This is powerful. So from now on, we're probably gonna think we need, we don't like to have the time frame now. We want to remove the time frame. So we can use that because the, the image and, the, and the, the video won't be able to change. Once you change that, it will reset everything. Yeah, what's your question? This is a page post right here. Yes. But obviously we can do link posts, video posts. Yes, let me find one. Other types. Let me find one if I can find uh, another one. Because I know she told me that all... Jasmine, do you have any conversion ads? Because from here, I don't... If we change the ad copy in there, the ad, the post ID will not change. So, so he never run any conversion ads. Okay, let me find another one. Let me find another client to test. Yeah, this is how, this is how the, uh, the, we can change the thing, but won't change the, uh, so all we really can change is just the copy. We can't change the images. We cannot change the image. The links. We can change the links in the copy, but we can't change the the images, just the copy. What about the headlines and the descriptions? Yeah, let, me, let me find one. Let me find one and show you. Because I haven't tested that yet. 
So she told me that you can create um I, I was stupid. I can't actually go to other other pages from that original from that one. That was stupid, sorry. She got some ads. Oh, I need to be an admin. Let me see if I need to be an admin. This is a link post ad. So in the link post ad, what we can do is we turn off notification. Hmm. So see that link post ad cannot change anything. Seems like it seems like you cannot change anything. You see? So it looks like we can only do it for um, page post ads then. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's Jeff. really powerful. Yeah, this is gonna this is powerful, guys, because literally you can this is our secret weapon. And you don't want to tell nobody this. But this is literally, we can consolidate all of these likes, shares, and comments and practically, you know, take advantage of, you know, keeping posts, promoting posts to other pages from changing the copy in the page or on the, on the post. And it's, it's powerful. And as well as you might have an ad that get disapproved, like one of my ads got disapproved. It has hundreds and some likes and shares and comments. I change the copy and get it back approved. Keep those likes and shares and comments. Let me see. I don't think I'm, not, I'm an admin on other. I don't think you need the admin role to edit the ad. I was confused by the other function. Let me see. Wait a moment. Let me try one more time with this. Let me try one more time. Let me see if I'm an ad. Let me see if I'm an admin of Dana's page and see if I can edit. Yeah, I'm already an admin and, and I still cannot edit. So it means you just cannot edit the other kind of ad. Or you can do the lead showing tab in bed, turn off notification. And uh, let me see if I'm, I need to be an admin for other page. Yeah, I'm, I'm not an admin for most of the pages. Just okay. I'm not advertiser. AJ CrossFit. AJ. Okay, I'm just an advertiser. And let me see if I can do anything. Oh, because this is not a ID post ID. This is not, this is a conversion. More option, shooting tab. What's this? Mean? Who, whose client is this? Do, does he have any PPE ads? No? Oh, okay. We try one more. Because this is uh, this is different. This is conflicting. I don't think I'm not. I'm still. Advertiser Adam. Adam. 
I don't have some PPE ads, right? Okay. So I'm an advertiser. And this is a PPE ad. Okay, so I cannot do anything. And uh, let me add myself and add me. Refresh. Sometimes I refresh the page, it takes longer time to load. Page posts. Yeah, Adam. And this one. This is weird. I still cannot edit anything. Let me see if it's because it's not published yet. Edit post. I can edit post now. That's different. Stupid. Let me try one more time. I'm sorry to keep you guys waiting, but I need to make sure if we what kind of access do we need to get the edit option? I'm an advertiser now to his page, Adam's page. And then this one, this ad. I cannot edit, so I have to be an admin, so I have, so I can edit. So this tells us in the future, all our clients need to give us admin access to the page at least, so we can edit the page, the, the post. Okay, I will add uh, each ads manager as an admin to your current clients uh, pages at me. Okay. Any questions? No? No questions now? Okay. I do need to say anything. Nope, it's just uh, very powerful. Like it was worth taking our time out of the day on a Friday to see. I mean, literally, mm -hmm. it's that powerful. But yeah. yeah, thanks guys for your time. Just uh, uh, finish up what you're doing since we got what, three more hours left until the day. Okay, bye.